Hello everyone. I am Christian and I'm the co-founder of Gabianit. And Gabia means market in Ethiopia. So before I begin, let me tell you a story. A year ago, we met a farmer called Kalala, and Kalala was suffering by not getting market for her product and losing almost most of her crop due to spoilage. This does not only happen to the farmers on Ethiopia, but also happens all over the world. Farmers all over the world suffer uh, not getting market with fair price. Also, they lose 40% of their vegetable products due to spoilage, due to ineffective transportation and trading systems. So what can we do about this? Gabanet is an e-commerce platform that connects farmers directly to the end buyers with on-demand and its web and mobile-enabled platform. OK, I've missed a couple of slides. So this is Kalala. So when we see our market, it's $1.2 billion market on vegetable in Ethiopia only, and we grow when we uh, go to different crops and different perishable products. So we plan to charge a 2% commission from both the farmers and the buyers per every transaction value. With this, we plan to make a like $600,000 uh, revenue on our first year and grow it into a $20 million market on our fifth year or 2022. So currently, we are on our pilot phase. We have been running our pilot project for a year. And we are going to uh, for a month, and we are going to continue our pilot project for the next two months. Also, after that, we are going to officially launch and going to market. And after a year, we will be expanding into different value chains, different markets in Africa. So our, currently, we are registered at Share Company, and we have been incubated on uh, Blue Moon Incubation Center for the last six months. Also, got seed funding for running our pilot project and the pre-pilot project processes. And when we see our competition, we have the, our biggest competition is the local trading system where the farmers could currently purchase and trade on, on our market. And globally, we could find Twiga Foods and Farm Lead in the USA. So what makes us different from our competition is that we, are, we don't own any, uh, only tr or any trucks, any warehouse. Any, we don't own anything. We are just peer-to-peer -peer, uh, platforms that connect farmers directly to the end buyers. So our vision is to become the technology-enabled global marketplace that solves this problem for the farmers and a marketplace for agriculture. So join our dream and support farmers that are like Kalela, suffering all over the world. And support us in our dream by helping us. Thank you. Thank you, Christian. That's a great last pitch. And let's move directly on to the jury. Thank you very much for the presentation. Uh, beyond just helping you, what is your exact ask that you would like to uh, uh, share? We, we want to think, one, we want your support to help, and we want an investment of uh, $200,000 to $250,000 for our next uh, phase. So it's an online marketplace for farming products of smallholder farmers, right? Yeah. And how do you do the shipping then of the products to the end user? How so do you organize that? Okay, we use, uh, f uh, we use uh, tr uh, freelancer truck drivers that are near the farmer. So we partner with them, we register them. So our model is like Uber and Amazon kind of model. So we... My, uh, my understanding is you said 40% of the, f of the harvest got lost on the way to the markets. In other countries, it's even 50% in small farmers because they don't have any cooling of the products on the way to the markets. How do you solve that issue with your Uber taxis? Oh, okay. What we do is uh, the order is pre-ordered. So even even before the farmer has uh, harvested the before harvesting the product, he would have a buyer on the city or different places that would order his product. So as soon as the product got harvested, it would be uh, delivered into the truck and directly sent into the buyer. And how long is it like uh, a normal drive of the product to the user? I mean, what's the average? Uh, the average drive is uh, maximum like uh, six hours. It, it depends on where the location is. It's uh, depending on the area, like six to eight hours drive. So you're just telling us that you can bring tomatoes and vegetables and fresh food in six hours without any cooling in an Uber taxi in a good mood to the end user? Uh, 
for example, if you order if you order today, you will not be ordering for today. You might order for next week. You might order for tomorrow. Uh, for any time you like, then the tr driver would go and pick it up and bring it to you. And we are currently working on buyers like uh, hotels, supermarkets, uh, re and retailers. <coughs> so uh, looked like a nice graph of growth oh. when you. <laughs> Uh, <coughs> hit the market. This one? Yeah, no, the. Um, I think. Didn't you have one with. Um, <coughs> yeah, this one, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just wondering how, do you, how are you going to get uh, market penetration and go okay. to market strategy to, to achieve those numbers? And <coughs> okay. You, Currently, we partnered, uh, for example, we are currently wor working on Ethiopia, so we partnered with the Agricultural uh, Ministry of the Ethiopia and par uh, working with the ministry. So the Ethiopian Agricultural Ministry have extension workers all over the, the country that work with the farmers, so we use those extension workers to go to the market. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm very curious about your competition. You mentioned that you have competitors in the market, mm -hmm. and my specific question is what makes your team qualified to deal with that competition? So uh, when you see our team, we are both uh, we have both technical background, also business background, and we are young, passionate uh, games uh, trying to solve the problem of farmers. OK, any questions? And that's it then. Christian, thank you, thank you so much. Bye. <laughs>